There are 10,000 sightings each year in North America alone, and so it has been since the dawn of time. Stone Age and even Biblical references into our modern age. In 1947, Kenneth Arnold saw nine unidentified crafts outside the window of a small plane, followed by the historic crash of Roswell and its legendary cover-up. In 1957, UFOs were spotted over our nation's capital. The Pentagon held press briefings. Multiple witnesses in 1967 at Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana see fighters scramble but easily outrun by UFOs that climb upwards of 200,000 feet, twice the service ceiling of our highest flying spy planes. Dr. Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, Side secret studies on extraterrestrial materials and bodies. Secretary of State Cyrus Vance and future president Gerard R. Ford valued the UFO phenomena and official government memoranda. But now people only laugh and only Roswell is remembered. <laughs> must ask ourselves. Or is it really a hoax? Are we truly alone? Or are, are we, we being, being lied to? to? Can I help you boys? No, sir. We were just leaving. Agent Mulder, Agent Scully. Security cameras failed to capture footage of the assailant. So I'm thinking either somebody tampered with the tapes. Or it's an invisible killer. My favorite kind. What do you think, Scully? Want to check it out? I'm not Scully. You're Scully. No, I'm Mulder. You're a redheaded woman. Well, the... Excuse me. The lore's pretty friggin' nuts, actually. I mean, they say these places, the magnetic fields are so strong that they can bend space-time, sending victims getting no one knows where. Yeah, sounds a little X-Files to me. So you guys are like Mulder and Scully or something, and the X-Files are real? <laughs> no, the X-Files is a TV show. This is real. <sighs> so, uh, you think that all this comes from outer space? This is an X-Files, pal. And there fell a great star from heaven, burning like a torch. And it fell upon the river, and the name of the star was Wormwood, and many men died. Oh, trust me, there's a lot weirder out there than that. So, um, the X-Files is real, or you just stopped talking like an FBI agent? Well, um, we're not FBI agents. I need a drink. I support that. What happened to him? Something took him. I know it. We are right in the middle of what we in the field like to call a UFO flap. And I am as happy as a pig in shoes. <laughs> I can guarantee you this has nothing to do with UFOs or little green men or anything extraterrestrial whatsoever. Of course it's not UFOs. It's fairies. Fairies? OK. Uh, well, thank you for your input. What, flying saucer's not insane enough for you? What newspaper did you say you work for? Look, if you want to add glitter to that glue you're sniffing, that's fine. But don't dump your wackadoo all over us. We'd rather not step in it. OK, we're, we're done. The only thing you're missing is a couple dozen cats, sister. Yeah. It's a, it's a blood sugar thing. My apologies. What? What? You got to ask? Right, yes, you do have to ask. Look, I'm sorry, but this is all a big joke, right? I mean, we're not actually taking this UFO crap seriously. Oh, man, E.T. is made of rubber. Everybody knows that. But there are four legitimate vanishings in this town. Something's going on. And Sam, by the way, it's not the lady's fault she took the brown acid. Yeah, so? Empathy, man, empathy. I mean, the old Sam would have given her some, some wussified, doo-eyed crap. 
Old Sam had a soul. Was a soul, whatever. Right, yes. Uh, and, and, but you don't, or art, whatever. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, this is also the last time we get to see you guys as uh, Sam and Dean Winchester. Aww. Yeah. For now. For now. For now. Fingers crossed. Yeah. We got work to do. That's Chuck's ending? No. No, I don't think so. After everything that he has put us through, I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some glorified fanboy get the last word. No doubt, endings are hard. But then again, nothing ever really ends. Gone long, I it came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him. He's like, man, crazy being back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I, <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you. And we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.